And I'd like to switch gear a little bit and uh, move on to something closer to the optics. And this is a project called IR Sense. It's an integrated sensing platform uh, for gases and liquids in the near and immediate infrared range. And as you will see, it's a rather large consortium of uh, research groups distributed between ETH, um, EPFL, the University of Neuchâtel, EMPA, and also the Fachhochschule Northwest Schweiz. Uh, the need that we want to address here is um, sensing and sen sensing chemicals for either application in the environment where you would like to either monitor pollution or uh, do some modeling of the environment, but also some medical application where you would like to sense um, gases and do diagnostics based on exhaled breath or also uh, doing on liquid sensing. So basically what we are interested is in small molecules, but as you will see, we're not limited to small molecules. We also can address sort of larger molecules. Um, and one very nice feature that the uh, optical-based systems have, and especially the ones that are using the kind of wave wavelength we are addressing, is the fact that they, are, they can be at the same time extremely sensitive and also very selective. And to that, which of course is a, a technique which has a, a old and proud, an old and proud history, what we really want to add here is portability and low power consumption. So. Um, the, the approach is really that we're addressing the vibrational modes of chemicals, that means the uh, rotation uh, vibration modes, like the schematically, the one that uh, is displayed here for water. Uh, what we basically do is we send a laser beam inside a, a cell where we have those molecules. We detect how much has, has been absorbed and at which frequency, and obviously, uh, we look at those small molecules or big molecules as little mechanical resonators whose frequency will change either from the chemical nature or also from the isotopical nature. And this is an example of an absorption line. This is just NO measured. And you see you have extremely sharp, well-defined line that define basically the molecule that you want to do. So in the frequency range, what we are interested in and we would like to address is everything between the near infrared all the way to the deep mid infrared uh, using uh, different sources and detectors. Um, so, again, the partners that are contributing actually address all, and that's really what uh, I felt was uh, the po extremely positive and interesting aspects of the NanoTerra is that we could address many aspects of the same system in an integrated project, which is something rather new in, in Switzerland. And so we wanted to address, at the same time, the source, the interaction and the electronics, and also the detector. And so you see that, uh, for example, for the gas sensing, uh, EMPA has a key role, in, in the North, um, and the Fachhochschule has a key role. Uh, for the sources is ETH and EPFL. For the um, fluidic sensing, there we have um, EPFL.